Next. So this is harder. You got Q here, you got Q here. But you, you see the Q at the denominator, right? It's part of the group. When it's like that, right? It's so you cannot you cannot cancel just cancel the Q like that. No one never ever do that. Okay? So the first thing about the subject is we always try to make it linear. Write down. Okay? Always try to make it linear. What does linear mean? It means one straight line. So this is one group. You cross multiply to him. So P bracket 3 minus square root Q is equals to 2 square root Q. Okay? First, next, we expand because we want to bring all the square root Q to one side. Now this square root Q is inside here and this square root Q is here. The one that is inside here is very troublesome so we need to bring it out. So this would make 3P minus P square root Q. What did I do? I just distribute. Is equals to 2 square root Q. Okay? So instead of bringing the Q to the left side, we can bring to the Q to the right side instead. Because there's one Q here. And there's one Q here. Alright? So we bring it to the right side. 2 square root Q plus P square root Q. Okay? Then let's write the mirror image, which means 2 square root Q plus p square root q is equals to 3p. This square root q and this square root q, are they the, exactly the same thing? Yes, they are. So you can factorize him out. So you see the technique is still the same. Once you got the same thing that is inside, right? You just factorize him out. Got it? Okay, but it's not done yet. So if same thing again. If I want to square root q only, le, what do I do with this? 2 plus P, I divide to the right side. Okay, and we learned that. So now, if square root Q is equal to this guy, how do I remove the square root? What do I do on the right uh, side? You square it. Very good, well done, okay? 3P over 2 plus P squared. Do you need to expand this square? No need. This is the final answer.